Alphonse Cuaron's Children of Men begins in the mid-2020s. The youngest person on earth has just died. Baby Diego, as he was known, was killed outside of a bar he was leaving. The former baby's death brings on a Princess Di-sized avalanche of mourning. During this public derangement, Clive Owen, playing a minor functionary in the need of his totalitarian government of England, is swept up by a revolutionary group. They believe they have the weapon that will end the government's stranglehold. It, or rather she, is the first pregnant woman the world has seen in 20 years. Children of Men has a visual energy and a lucidity not seen in a hundred films. And Michael Caine and Julianne Moore co-star as revolutionaries. Caine, the passive kind, and Moore, the very active kind. Women stop being able to have babies. What's left to hope for? The world was stunned today by the death of Diego Ricardo, the youngest person on the planet. The youngest person on Earth was 18 years, 4 months, 20 days, 16 hours and 8 minutes old. The ultimate mystery, why are women infertile? Some say it's genetic experiments, pollution. Why do you think we can't make babies anymore? It doesn't matter. It's all over in 50 years. It's too late. Move along! Move along! Hello, Theo. I'll be back. Lisa, been a pain lately. I haven't seen you for nearly 20 years. Need your help. Not for me, a girl. I need to get her to the coast, past security checkpoints. Another, another masterpiece of dystopic fiction, um, the, first, the first real genuine breakthrough in this field in, in years and years. Uh, Quaron's uh, use of Mia documentary style is completely justified because everything in his frame is, uh, is, is, is utterly believable. Um, it's, it's so exhilarating, it's not, not, a, not even a little depressing, I think, just because the technique is so, is so powerful, is so assured. Um, and, and because of the way you see this film and you feel like, I'm seeing my worst fears justified. And there's, all, almost, there's always a little satisfaction in that, isn't there? You feel like you're a prophet in a way. Uh, I think Owen was was never better. I think uh, more in, in her small but key role, great. Even um, oh, Michael uh, yeah. Caine was phenomenal. Yeah, Danny he Houston too, very Danny good. He's like a kind of a cracked uh, curator of the last you know, quiet works of art. This mm -hmm. is his forte: is this slightly um, jaded, even evil, um, uh, yeah. tinged um, uh, character. Uh, this is this is every child actor can play a psycho. Every every grandchild <laughs> of an actor can play a jaded aristocrat, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyway, I, I agree with you. I, I thought this was wonderful, but I was not in any way satisfied with the fact that it did um, uh, portray my worst fears. Um, the people in the audience well, I said were, a little bit. A little yeah, bit. <laughs> the people in the audience were horrified because it was it was so much the way people are feeling these days, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. it painted the world today. It is from a book by P.D. James, very, who, very yeah, lightly lightly based. Usually, the detective, lightly based yeah. on it, but again, she was even reacting to a sense of what the world is becoming. Mm -hmm. And of course, she is mostly known for her detective novels, um, um, starring her um, um, wonderful detective, whose name I forget yeah, right I now. Um, but anyway, um, the pacing and everything was amazing. Alfonso Cuaron, we've got to talk about this. Yeah. The, uh, the direction was a powerhouse. Yeah. And he is the producer of Pan's um, a Labyrinth, mm -hmm. and the best friend of Guillermo uh, del, del Toro. Yeah. Del Toro they are both part of this triumvirate of Mexican directors um, that also features in Aritu, who just did Bedlam. Babel, brother. They, yeah, we'll, we'll, Bab Bab we'll, we'll, we'll get back to that in a second, yeah. but, but uh, just, just really to wrap up with this film, mm -hmm. um, I, I think just uh, the, it shows how you can get a, a great deal of future with not very much money just by using existing locations. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's the one thing about it. It's not like uh, the, the amount of CGI is like almost, it's very limited, I think, compared to what people usually use when it comes to a future. And yet you come out of this just feeling like you've looked, you know, looked down the barrel, like you've looked into your open grave, really, in a lot of ways. I, I want to say one more thing. Sure. The technique that he uses, and is used in most of his films, yeah. is that camera moves mm -hmm. through a scene in a very long take. I know, the and long take. And this means take. you've got to choreograph everything that's happening so that camera can move and you as actors have to be just where you should. It is the great old style of F.W. Murnau. It goes into, um, into Wells, too. It goes into Wells. It's, it's marvelous. Mm -hmm. Good great to see you film. Back. Great film.